Chris Halfin sits on the ground by the prayer candles, thinking about life without his best friend, killed in a shooting Saturday night. I was right next to him. I said, bro, if they start shooting, go down Western and turn right on 74th. That's Chris on the right of this picture, holding a trophy with Quincy Reese Jr. together playing basketball and baseball together at a birthday party here at 77th Street Jazz and Sports Lounge on Western. The story all too familiar. A fight, shots rang out from a passing car. People ran. When it pops, I'm running, I'm running, running. I don't even see him at all. I don't even see him. Then I turn around, I guess like the car comes down. And they were targeting him or? No, oh, that was just trigger happy. Word quickly spread and outside Crenshaw High, a vigil for Quincy, an outpouring of love and support, giving some comfort to Quincy Reese Sr., who also went to Crenshaw High. So how, how, you, how do you process this? Um, by looking at the love that's surrounding me, that's the only way I can deal with what I just experienced, that no parent should experience. I can't make sense. Um, kids go out, and, um, they go try to have fun, and senses act, and people just do what they do. There were, of course, numerous witnesses, yet so far, police not putting out any description of suspects or vehicle. Meantime, as school ends for the year, a hard lesson for these students. Chris remembers what Quincy was like. If like a, it's like a rainy day, man, he coming here happy, man. What's up, y'all? Y'all ready to practice? Yeah. You start touching everybody, you're like, what's up, bro? He was upbeat, positive. Was, you're positive, yeah. positive. Chris's father put it this way. Sadly, he said, this isn't the first shooting here, and it won't be the last. In the Crenshaw District, Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.